Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now I'm in a good mood. I just had some of my basketball young guys, you know, a couple of them that never played before, really couldn't do nothing. But by the end of my little training, they were doing little, you know, layups and stuff. And we're all happy. So we're happy about that. Just teaching a few uh, young cats how to play. And ladies, too, how to play little hoops a little bit. So now I'm a little bit happy. Now the weather around here, you know, was snowing. I'm glad right now it's only rain. But anyway, let me just say this to you. I'm also happy about this. Here's some good news for you. In the lightweight division, what do I call a lightweight division? Devin Haney and the rest. That's just me as a sport fan. I'm all for the guy who's undisputed now and who was doing everything to become undisputed and who was avoided by very good fighters, right? Should I say him or should I leave it alone right now? We're in a good mood. Forget the fighters right now. But at the end of the day, Devin Haney and his father come out and they said, listen, we're all expecting Devin Haney to fight Lomachenko and roll up to 140 because he can't make 135 no more. The man's too big, right? And trying to make 135 to make only massive fights. Well, he's going through negotiation problems with Lomachenko, which shouldn't be. That fight should be already in March. But they're messing around with him, letting Ramadan go by, and then have to want to have it in May because that's what Lomachenko want. Now Lomachenko wants some more money. And what, let me tell you, when it comes to this more money stuff, I, all I want to just go back to Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. If Taron Crawford got to take 35% from anybody on the planet, then I don't want to hear no more negotiating. If the best fighter in the world, undisputed fighter, fighter that everybody's scared of and we know it, he got to take 35% from any earthling, then everybody. I don't need to hear nothing about negotiations no more. About nothing. Right? And that's our problem as people in the damn internet. We always talk about who's more popular and get pay-per-views. And they, they hear that and they go in negotiations. And then we ain't having no undisputed fights, what I just did a video about yesterday. We ain't getting none of the undisputed fights. So anyway, Devin Haney come out and say this. I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to stay lightweight because of some big fights. Isn't that good news? You know why he's saying that? He's saying that because Lomachenko messing around in negotiations, trying to let him get overweight and be hard to make one uh 135 right so he's talking to Lomachenko but he's also talking to people that's talking about Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia is such a big fight right like I, I don't understand that the big fight it can't be a big fight lightweight unless the undisputed guy is fighting how can it be a big fight against two dudes who had an opportunity to be where Devin Haney is but ain't Ryan Garcia was Devin Haney's mandatory and refused to fight him so how is he in a big fight in the same weight division? Impossible to me as a consumer. Javante Davis is old for the division. He's 28 damn years old and been there forever. He should at least have fought Lomachenko by now. And he's lucky that Ryan Garcia called him out because he doesn't call him out. And now it's a good fight. I'll go with that. But big, I'm not. Devin Haney got to be in it. So the bottom line is Devin Haney's saying for that. The winner of that, now you can say Devin Haney's name. Right. But here's the name, the only name you hear people talk about Devin Haney about Shakur Stevenson. You know why? Because he's an awesome ass black guy that they don't want nobody else to fight. Isaac Cruz didn't have to fight him. So why uh, Devin Haney? Right. Isaac Cruz was next in line. William Cepeda didn't have to fight him. He was next in line. Right. George Combosa didn't have to fight him. So don't come in here talking about Devin Haney. He's got undisputed stuff to do. Right? There are other ones. Unless Shakur Stevenson gets a lot of props and love for Isaac Cruz, who's supposed to be a pit bull. William Cepeda is awesome. And George Combosis fought at least uh, Devin Haney 24 rounds. Right? And beat up Teofimo Lopez. Right? So my point is, let's get back to the point. Devin Haney is staying there for a minute. I wonder, is that good news or bad news? Let's see. Doma Sports Talk Worldwide, and I'm up out of here, y'all.